It is a small firm, but all of my employees are first class programmers. Let's ask uh let's ask one of them what they are doing. Oh hey, it's that guy. Oh god. Uh looks like that guy that's sitting right there. And uh to the right. Or maybe it's the guy to the left. I think about it, they look eerily similar. <laughs> I thought they were just zooming in on like the guy to the right space. But maybe it's the guy to the left. Now I don't know. Now I'm unsure of myself. And now that I think about it, that just looks really weird, having glasses underneath. And you could see the- I think you could see the glasses, the bottom of the glasses, underneath the HMD. Excuse me, what are you working on right now? I'm res- Uh... What? On logical access shared- influ Influences, response time, and performance. Very a member over- Uh, I- uh, uh... Good job. I, uh, I did not keep up with any of that. Well, you get the idea. This is the sort of thing we were involved in. Did you get, uh, did you good people follow all that? Yeah. Your blank smile just said otherwise, Mayo. You know about what happened, right, Miss Basil? You mean about Glenn being poisoned? Yes, I know. It's terrible. Can you tell us anything that might be helpful? I don't think so. A police officer was here earlier, too. But I couldn't tell, uh, tell him anything because either, because... The waitress who committed the crime has nothing to do with Blue Screen's Inc. Oh. How about Miss Mr. Elk's desk? Have you cleared it out already? No, not yet. It's the one right in front of you. With the horse on it? And the guy riding the horse and... If there's anything that you might find, uh, that might be useful to you, you are welcome to take it. I guess there might be a clue here somewhere. It's a messy desk, honestly. Uh, I'll take a look at it. So it's this one, right? There's a little horse here. And papers everywhere. Oh, look at this desk, Nick. What a mess. Looks pretty average to me. But you can't get any work done with everything all over the place like this. You think? Real whiz kids can work under any condition, you know? She's trying to hint that I should tidy my desk more. I'll clean up my desk when Maya stops making, asking silly questions. No hurry, then. Wait, what? That was a calendar? <laughs> okay, I guess. That works. It's a, it's a calendar. It's a weird calendar. I, I, whatever, whatever, man. Hey, this calendar. What about it? If this is, an, uh, is another hint about tidying, you can forget about it. Someone's marked December 3rd with a red pen. December 3rd? That's the day Mr. Elg was murdered. Is there anything else? Yeah. Um, it says, meet with the tiger. Hmm. The tiger, that has to be... That has to be that weird guy. Okay. There's some papers all over the floor. Wow, look at this mess. Looks like they're all betting tickets. What kind of betting tickets? For better or which, uh, for betting on which horse will win in a given race. They're horse racing tickets. Oh, wow. His doors are stuffed full of these. Looks like they're all losing tickets, though. Oh, man. That is, that is a lot of tickets, honestly. This many tickets would get you, what, a buck down at the recycling center? You're hopeless, Nick. You know what? <laughs> you know that? I'm just taking them as a, a, as evidence, Maya. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think it'd be worth taking that many tickets just to get a dollar. Anyway... Uh, there's a... There's all that stuff. Let's take... Let me just take a look at these just to see what they say, I guess. Um, horse racing betting tickets. Found in Glen Elk's desk. There's over 500 of them. Wow, that's... That's a lot more than I thought there was. Okay, holy crap. That is... Oh, man. Over 500. I thought I thought we were talking like, you know, maybe like 30 or 40 tickets. No, no, no. 500. Holy crap. Uh, December 3rd, meet with the tiger. Uh, any new talk options? No. 
Actually, since I'm here, just I want to look at this guy in the corner. He's really pounding that keyboard, isn't he? Wow, I bet that's where the pro and programmer comes from, huh? I guess I shouldn't be resting on my laurels. Gotta expand my skill set and all. That? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I could become old CD's apprentice. Um, and what about your spirit medium training? He's- oh. <laughs> yeah, but this guy's pounding in a different way. He's just pounding his face against his keyboard. Anything else? That nice chair. There's some weird stuff under the desk. Probably like a, I don't know, like a pillow or something. Blanket. Some stuff against the wall. Hey, look, Nick. It's a supercomputer. It looks like it's really smart and wise, doesn't it? Computers are only as smart as the humans who use them, Maya. That explains why we don't use the computer in our office. You work there too, Maya. Yeah, but at least I'm... Please, don't argue about something that's so trivial. Otherwise, the computer will laugh at you. <laughs> she said she'd laugh at us, Nick. She's a human, Maya, not a computer. Alright, what else? Uh, maybe present some things. Uh, obviously, Glen Elg. Maybe get some more information on him? Um, about Mr. Elg. He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. But he did suffer from one of our two bugs in his personality. Oh? Like what? He was a bit of a loser. Perhaps what would be the best way to, to describe him? That's what got him into trouble. What's the matter? He was the top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. So he was really no trouble at all. A model employee. Hey, wait a minute. Just now you said something about him being in trouble. We've got to find out what this trouble was exactly. Uh, probably a gambling addiction. <laughs> if, if I had to guess, a gambling addiction. Do we have any new talc options? Yeah, there we go. Glenn's troubles. Um, about Mr. Elg. Was he in some kind of trouble? I'm sorry, why would you think that? I thought you said something about it just now. You said he got himself into trouble because he was a bit of a loser. Oh boy. Oh, uh, I should have seen this coming. A Cyclock? I guess Mr. Elg is like every other man with his own pile of secrets. Well, I don't think I have enough to get that. Let me, let me just take a look. I mean, that may be one thing. Wait a minute. He got into a fight. Or something. Because he had an ear rupture, right? And that was from a fight, I think? I don't remember. Do any of you say anything about it? I don't know. Oh, well. I don't think I have enough right now. Is there anything else I want to present? Or that I want to know more about? Uh, I don't have any HMDs to present. I might want to... I, I might have wanted a little bit more info on that. Um, I doubt she's going to say anything about that because she's being so tight-lipped right now. And that's probably the main problem. Just like this lottery ticket is. And, oh, uh, no. I guess, let's head on. Where should I head to next? Well, I have no option to go, with, uh, to go, nowhere to go but trust me in right now. Um. Still the same here. Okay, I can go to the detention center or the kitchen. Or vitamin square. That is an option. Hmm. Maybe I'll check out Vitamin Square. January 7th, Vitamin Square. Hmm, I don't see any sign of Mr. Kudo, do you? Maybe he went to buy another ton of bird seeds. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be here anyway. At least, not for now. Besides, any more seeds a day, I'm totally liable to turn into a real phoenix. Also, holy crap, uh, I 
just saw the motorcycle back there. Oh, steal yourself, Phoenix. I have a feeling we're about to meet someone. Again. Or not. His bike's still here. Hey, check this out. I wouldn't get too close to that if I were you, otherwise you might be in for a shock. My phony must be lurking someplace nearby. Just imagine, a tiger, loose in the city. Meanwhile, the real phoenix is like an abandoned chick, lost in a vast urban jungle. Huh? Don't worry, someday you'll grow up and become a ferocious tiger too. Don't lose hope. Why is she trying to pep talk me into becoming my phony? Oh boy. Is is he really not here though? Like guy, hello. Okay then. Goodbye, I guess. <laughs> I don't I don't have a way to lure him out. Maybe I need to like go get a steak or something. And try to catch him. Um uh, I don't wanna check out the kitchen, but it's probably worth it. Cause I need to f I need to find I need more information on the other waitresses. Fuck it, I'm taking a risk here. Trespian kitchen, huh? Mr. Armstrong's talking to someone. Oh hey, it's that person again. I almost forgot about you. Uh, I'll be back next month. Oi, natural amount, natural what uh, the. Natural laments. Okay, <laughs> that was oh boy. Oh, this again. I will be waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little hot around here. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Hold on a second here. What's going on here? Armstrong, are you being blackmailed? None! I will have everything ready, I promise. I love fire, you know? I love the way it crackles. <laughs> no, no, no! Stop it! I beg you! Then, don't let me down. I'll be watching you. My nuns, this is not necessary. You can trust me, mademoiselle. Talk to anyone, and I'll drive a knife right through your heart. Oh God! <laughs> oh, okay, this was uh, wasn't really the personality I was expecting when I first saw this uh this character, but uh, oh boy, things just got heated. Holy crap! Oh none, you do not have to worry. You know, you worry far too much. Maybe this will help you relax. It is the oil of sandalwood. I do love raw meat from time to time. <laughs> oh. I'll be taking my leave. Goodbye. For now. Oh. Phoenix, avoid contact with that person at all costs. Oh, I have less shivers. I must throw some of my oil all over my body before I become Xenos Rack. <laughs> Why do I... No! No! Why do you have to paint that image in my head? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Zer. Oui, oui, oui. Oh, Zer feels good. Oh god, is he. Is he just lotioning himself up right now? <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> oh god. Oh la la. Excuse moi, monsieur. My. My eyes! MY EYES! <laughs> Phoenix just- Oh, I'm so sorry, Phoenix. We shouldn't have come here. Oh, no. Things went terribly wrong. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Phoenix, I'm so sorry. I- I'm like- I'm really sorry, Phoenix, that you had to see that. But thank- thank God they did not show me that. Oh, my God. I I'm so sorry, Phoenix. Your eyes. If you have trouble with your eyes, then you need this. La oil of sandalwood. Isn't this what just the leftovers of what you were just using? Huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Okay, the woman just known trust me in. Well, Bruce was, but trust me in. You don't have many customers, do you, Mr. Armstrong? Non, you are right, Monsieur, but perhaps that is the perfect time for you to visit me, Non. Now I can give you my undivided attention and cook for you la dish supreme. Putting on a brave face, huh? That's what girls do, Nick. But you are right, business is very difficult these days. Perhaps the name is the problem. People do not understand it, they think it is Trey. I just wanted people to think that my restaurant was exclusive. But they think you just serve fast food on cheap plastic trays? Nick, that's the kind of thing that can make a girl cry. Have you forgotten that Mr. Armstrong is a man, Maya? But this restaurant is my life. It is everything to me. I will defend it to the finale. No one will take it from me. Oh boy. So what about the... Yeah, what about this woman? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, she, she was something else. I was not expecting that, but I like it. Yeah, this, this is interesting. So, who was the woman you were just talking to? Oh la la, you saw that? Uh, well, yes, yeah, sorry. So, who was she? She looked so polite and graceful. P polite? G graceful? And she likes around meat and fires, right? I'll be na back next month. Oi, that's your little lament. I'll be waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little hot around here. None, I will have everything ready, I promise. Now that I think about it... Hey, Maya, I think it's pretty clear what kind of conversation they were having. You think so? Well, then let's show them that piece of evidence and see what happens. Oh boy. Yeah, it's gotta be... It's probably blackmail about uh, his, his debts. Do I have, um... What do I have that's involve that involves his debts? Not that. Oh, here it is. I think this is... John's debt... Uh, John's debt is a little... There's... <laughs> it's half a million dollars. There we go. The owner of the loan is Tender Lender. I never noticed that before. Tender Lender. That is creepy as hell. Anyway... Is... Is that their name? That is... Weird as all hell. Okay, you know what? But th this has to be it, so. So long as that paper exists, I am but a delightful angel with uh, broken wings. An angel, huh? Doesn't bode well when you think about it. Oi, they kept harassing me month after month. And in the end, I had to give in. I agreed to help them. Help them? With what? My spins are... Uh, what? Um, okay. Maisbian, sir. I don't know what that means. If I did not owe them la money, they would have refused. I would have refused. Oh, okay. So, so you're helping them with something because you owe them money. But my aunts were tied. Please, what did you agree to help them with? None. I, I cannot say. If I tell you is that woman, she will slice me up and eat me with a la cell garnish. Ew, I hope it doesn't mean he'll literally be sliced up and served with garnish. I'm going to guess that woman has something to do with your loan contract, am I right? Ah. Uh, please, Mr. Armstrong, tell us about that woman. Maybe we get a little bit out of him? Or is it just going to end up- Oh, hey, I can- that option's open again. Ah, uh, I hope this doesn't end with Cyclops again. It probably will. The woman who was here earlier, I take it that she's, um... Why does it come to this? What a tragedy. What a tragedy. Suddenly I find myself so deep in la debt. It is a bad sign of la... Of a la... Bad... Bad world we live in, huh? Uh, no, I say it's a bad sign of a... What? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I... Yes. I, I can't read this very well. This is going well. Okay, no, I'd say it's more of a sign of a la... Bad... Bad culinary skills. Uh, the woman who was here, the scary woman, she's from the loan office. Loan office? 
Is that where you borrowed half a million dollars from?